Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, I have been keeping a little secret from you guys. I am pregnant. We are expecting baby in the fall time. My due date is September 24 and I'm currently 17 weeks along. If you're new to my channel, I have two girls. My oldest is Tala and she is four years old. My youngest is Layla and she is one. She just turned one. The little one has no idea what's going on and she's probably gonna be hit sideways by this baby but my oldest is really excited and she's so happy she'll come up to me and go we can't hold baby can I hold baby and it's just so cute she'll come up put her head on my belly to hear the baby rub my belly and it's just like the cutest thing ever um so i'm really grateful to have an older one that kind of understands what's going on and that is excited as well this pregnancy has been very different than my pregnancy with the girls i've been tired nauseous with the girls i was fine I didn't have any nausea, little to no nausea. Um, I wasn't as tired, I wasn't as sleepy, and I had like good energy, craving a lot. With Tala, I was able to work an eight to five shift or a one to 10 shift when I was working management at um, Arrow. And with Layla having a toddler, I was still okay. We were doing renovations on our home but this baby, you guys, <laughs> this baby has taken me out, which is the main reason why I took a good, I think maybe even five, six weeks off of YouTube. I needed it. The first trimester for me was horrible. I could not eat. I did not like the smell of any meat, chicken. Just, I wanted nothing besides carbs and like a salad, nothing. I could not eat anything besides that. And even then, like I'd eat avocado toast and it would just make me extremely nauseous afterwards. So I couldn't really eat much my first trimester. I was very weak, very tired, which is crazy because I pulled off a good bit of videos during my first trimester. I didn't think I could do it. I really pushed through my first trimester, even though it was absolutely horrible. It was my worst. And as soon as I hit my second trimester, I was out. So for those of you that don't know, my husband works night shifts, so he's gone from 2 p.m. until late a.m. hours. So it's just me with the girls from the time I wake up till the time I go to sleep because even in the morning, their dad has to get rest. So it was really difficult for me to take care of two kids, mainly the youngest one because it's just me. He's off three days a week and he's as much help as he can be but on the days he works, they are the worst. Things are getting better now that my nausea has gone away and I can eat. With this pregnancy being a year after I had my C-section with Layla, I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Um, things have been different as far as pain. My scar hurts, it burns, I can feel the stretching. I'm really worried about how labor is gonna go. My birth plan is to have a VBAC, even though I've been hearing some horror stories. So if you've had a VBAC or a C-section after a C-section, let me know down below how your recovery went, how you felt after, which one was easier for you, because my C-section took me a good month to be on my feet, like being able to take care of myself and my kids, but I was still not 100%. So as far as changes in our home, we have a four bedroom house, our master, Tala's room, Layla's room, and we have a office slash guest bedroom. Tala's bedroom and the guest bedroom are big enough to honestly be master bedrooms. So we are going to move Layla out of her room and move her into the guest room, completely get rid of any guest space and move my husband's office into Layla's nursery. Layla's room is a little bit smaller. I felt like it was a perfect size room for a nursery, which is why I put her in there. But because we're having another baby and they are going to be close in age together, I'm going to put Layla and baby in the same room and Tala is gonna keep her room. Now, because a lot of changes are happening in the rooms, obviously we're gonna do like a nursery makeover for Layla and the baby and do something really cute in there for them. I didn't want to leave my oldest out, so I'm currently working on a makeover in her room. I'll insert some clips of what I've been doing. And since we got so much makeovers going on, I'm gonna try to do everything as budget friendly as possible. Cause let's be honest, I do not have hundreds or thousands just sitting 
ready to do expensive makeovers in a room or two now that I have to do all of them. We have a lot of room makeovers going on. We have Tala's room, nursery, office, and also the master. I wanted to get the master done before Layla was here, but that didn't happen. And Layla is now a year old and we haven't even started. And we're having another baby, so it's time to work on the master and just get it done before this baby's here. Just to give you guys a sneak peek of what I wanna do in the master bedroom, I'll insert um, the mood board I created. I'm going for a very moody, a little bit darker feel in the master bedroom. Kind of like a amber interiors feel. I'm really, really loving that right now. So a lot is going on this summer. I'm really excited. Really excited for this baby to come. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.